Good morning, dearest brothers and sisters. Can you hear Chevy just tearing around the house? <laughs> He's wild. Anyways, I just want to come on and say hi. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been difficult trying to find time to, to do a video, for sure. But uh, here we are. I um I just want to comment on the last two videos that I I uh I mirrored in regards to the news clips of the number thirty three. For anybody that's not aware, um, thirty three is definitely a number that they like to use constantly as a sign, as a symbol, to reveal their plan and reveal what the next step is. It's it's always an indication to almost like a pay attention to somebody that knows that there's a thirty three there. And there's way more symbolism out there. And you can find that on YouTube. There's thousands upon thousands of videos showing that. But I, I really wanted to, to focus on a specific area that I'm noticing happening here. And I wish I had more time to be able to, to go over all the articles. But what I'll do is I think I'm going to post this one and then just link all the articles in the description. So there's a trail. You can see it. And... My country of Canada is up in arms right now because uh, the Biden administration um, decided to stop the X, uh, Keystone XL pipeline. And half of our country, a majority of our, our economy is based off of, of those types of resources. Now, I'm not here to say yay or nay. Um, I just know that this is the world that they've created right now for us. And we're living in it. And now they're trying to take it away from us, which... They're doing it for all the wrong reasons, because they are not giving power to the creator, but they're giving power to the creation. And so there is a real theme happening right now. And the breadcrumbs that I've been led to that I want to show you here today is, is climate change. They're really, really focusing on the climate change right now. And within Biden's administration right now, that is the push that is going to be the center around his agenda. Now, if you look at behind uh, the pictures of him in the Oval Office, to our right side, his left side, you see a picture of him and the Pope. And the Pope made a phone call to Biden talking about how he was excited that he got back into the Paris Accord, which is a climate change um, conference or <laughs> agenda. And anyone that is a, a follower of the truth the loves the most high, the loves Jesus Christ, knows that, yes, we shouldn't be abusing our earth, but at the same time, it's our Father that decides what happens to it. So all the, all the things that are happening on it, whether it be earthquakes, tornadoes, it heating up, cooling down, has nothing to do with anything that we do. It's all within His hands. And so, now this guise of climate change that's coming out right now will be the next agenda, I believe, pushing forward to reveal and roll out what the mark of the beast will be right now and everything that's happening on earth i believe is a way of setting that system up and you've if anybody's been with me for long periods of time some of you agree with me some of you don't agree with me and that's okay i'm going to follow where my heart leads me and where the spirit leads me and um i i feel it i just saw an article where bill gates is planning to block out the sun. How is he going to do that? What was used to be a conspiracy theory, now a science, uh, and that is chemtrails. That's the, the that's the, it's chemtrails are almost synonymous with conspiracy theory. It's just, it's a it's a dirty word basically, and they've done a real good job planting these seeds within our truth community so that we are now classified and looked at as domestic terrorists. There was an article that Richie from Boston put out a little while back, almost a year ago, I think, about how we are, anybody that spend, spreads misinformation on, uh, on the internet is, is classified as a domestic terrorist. Well, Biden, about three or four days ago, said he's about to put his foot down on domestic terrorism. And guess what rolled that out? The Capitol building. Of course it did. The Capitol building is starting that. That is our uh, modern day right now, 9-11. And if you look at these uh, meticulous strategic military tactics that have been laid out, 
such as 9-11 and such as the Capitol building, purposely designed to slowly take away our freedoms, but at a slow roll pace so that people don't complain about it. Now, there will be people that complain. There will be people that will go out and protest, but there will also be people that will be planted there on purpose to ruin that protest so that it looks like we're extremists. This is where it's going, dear brothers and sisters. Now, the great news, as you've all heard me say, this is already done. It's over. We've won. It's Jesus is coming back. He's coming to re reclaim his bride. And we're just living the rest of this out. What our responsibility is, dear brothers and sisters, is to reveal this truth to other brothers and sisters around us. I love our community, and it is so amazing to see fellow brothers and sisters picking up their crosses and continuing to preach the good word and promote truth. It's, it's much necessary. And it's, for me, again, I love the timing of our Father. He's just so perfect. And just things that are happening in my, my you know, life right now, I'm not able to put out as many videos, but here we are. Other brothers and sisters are starting to, to do lots, and it's just phenomenal. But either way, dear brothers and sisters, I just wanted to come on and, and really um, see if you notice it like I'm noticing it. There is a, a real focus on the climate change, uh, and there has been for quite a while, but it's starting to resurface itself again. And if you just look at the, the articles that are out there right now in regards to the new, new administration, this Pope has always been uh, an environmentalist, and I do that with quotes in the air because it's ridiculous. It's, a, it's blasphemy is what it is because he, again, is putting the creation ahead of the creator. Now, the things that they're trying to promote right now and put inside of us is uh, is all not good. All and you know that, and I I won't. It won't happen. I'm, it just will not happen here. Um, I'm working on my family right now. Unfortunately, uh, my son-in-law, he uh, works in the health industry, and he did take it. So I need you to pray for him, dear brothers and sisters, as I'm praying for him, and um, I'm going to continue to monitor that situation him and how he's how he feels with his health his spiritual health if he even notices a change whatever the case may be and i will i'll report on that for sure now dear brothers and sisters we need to relentlessly keep pushing forward and keep promoting the truth that we know that is the gospel that is our lord and savior jesus christ he's the only one that's going to get us through any of this and the wearing down of the saints is a very real thing, and that's happening in all of our lives right now. But with perfect purpose. Know that. With perp perfect purpose. Purpose. I can use per 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 perfect purpose to prepare us for the next thing. So as long as we're ready for whatever is going to be thrown at us, it's that solid rock foundation, dear brothers and sisters. Not built on sand but built on the word of God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So let that storm come. Let that, that wolf come and try to blow our house down. Because with the foundation that we have and how solid that it is, there we will be as that lighthouse on top of that hill, bringing in all those distressed ships that are out in the sea. So I love you, dear brothers and sisters. I pray you all have an amazing day. Again, I apologize. I haven't had an opportunity. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay away um, from YouTube and social media as much, much as I can. I've turned off my notifications off the YouTube because that's what was triggering me to get on it. And uh, I'm trying to break free is what I'm trying to do as I encourage every single one of you to. Now, I know we're on here and we're doing this and this is a beautiful thing. And if we can limit our time doing this. And, and spending more time with our families and in the Lord will be better off, that's for sure. So again, I love you guys. I pray you all have an amazing day, and Father willing, I'll do another one soon. Take care. God bless.